what's up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am going to talk to you guys about the differences between American high schools and French high schools. So I am talking about experience here. Um, if, if you don't know me, I was an exchange student in the US for five months and I came back to France after because I am French. So I've been in school in France for my whole life. So now I can tell you the main differences between both school systems. So the first main difference that I know about, because it's my case, ninth grade in France is not considered high school. In the US, you have four years of high school. In France, you only have three. So right now, I am in ninth grade. So in the US, I'm a freshman in high school. While in France, I'm doing my last year of middle school or junior high. So the first biggest difference is how long the days are. In the US, days are way shorter. Here you go to school from 8 to 5 every day, except Wednesdays because Wednesdays are shorter days, so you go to school only from 8 to 12, but every other day of the week from Monday to Friday you go to school from 8 to 5 or around those times, and it's a really really long day. In the US I used to go to school from like 8.20 to, what was it, 1.25? and I loved it because I could go home and take a nap. The second main difference that still has to do with a school day is the lunch break. So in France we have around a two hours long lunch break and I'm not even kidding, we have, I have an hour and 40 minutes to eat lunch. Most people have two hours, it depends on the school but I have an hour and 40 minutes to eat lunch and I think it's way too much. Sometimes I even have 2 hours and 40 minutes, it depends on my schedule and the day but 2 hours and 40 minutes to eat lunch? What do you do? Like you eat lunch, okay, eating lunch takes you what, 20, 30 minutes? Not an hour and 40 minutes, so in the US I had like 30 minutes to eat lunch and that was, that was perfect because it was just the right timing and I loved it because it doesn't cut your day in half. You just have time to eat lunch, talk with your friends, but it doesn't completely cut your day. Lunch here is just like, you have time to take a whole giant nap. Like it's crazy. Next thing is that we do not have school activities. So in the US, you guys have lots of the time, you have basketball, track, soccer, football, cheerleading, and you have tons of clubs. Over here, we don't have that. We do not have activities with our school. And that's something you could do during lunch, but no. That's really sad. I mean, I think students should get involved in school, but like there's nothing much to get involved in here. So next thing is that we cannot choose our classes. Um, at the beginning of the year, how it works is that you're assigned to a group. So like usually 30 to 35 students and you have to stick with that whole group for the whole year. You do not choose your classes. So when you get to high school, um, you have to choose between three options. There's more, but these are the like main ones. And you have to choose between scientific, economical, and what, social, I think it is, and then literature. You choose between those three sections and you have to stick with it throughout your whole high school. It basically determines your whole future and I think that's kind of stupid because every section has its own classes and you cannot like take like a literature class while you're studying scientifics. It's, it's an example, it doesn't really like, it's not exactly like this but that gives you the idea. So basically what it does is that it puts you in a box and you have to stick with it, you, you don't have anything else. So I hate this system and thank god they are gonna change it for when I get to high school. So I'll have more of the American way system but for now that's how it worked and it's been working like that for years. Yeah I like the American way better that you have you have to take some classes like some classes are mandatory but you can still choose options and you could take honors and all that. Here you don't have all this. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did don't forget to subscribe and like this video and follow me on my social medias which are snapchat instagram and twitter if you want another video like this definitely tell me there are way more differences that i can talk to you guys about but these are the main ones and the, the first ones you notice thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video bye